Hey guys, it's me, Rebecca, and I uh, just got back from the thrift store. So I thought, I haven't done a haul video in a really long time, so I thought this might be a good chance to get going on one. Uh, I forget. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I know that seems to be the issue. Hey guys. So, some sad news. I... Oh, lost my lab last week. We had to put him down because he um, was just really struggling with arthritis and ultimately ended up having kidney failure. So that's why I look like a mess today. So bear with me. I'm not my usual like pink lipstick, perky, bubbly chick today. But I did go sourcing to kind of keep my mind off stuff, so I thought that I would kind of show everybody my new eBay room or reselling room for my storage and what I how I have everything set up, and then I'll do a haul video and show you all of the things that I got today. So if you, um, oh, you, just like the movie Marley and Me, our our chocolate lab. Uh, his name was Coach, and um, he passed away on Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. I don't even know what day it was. It was some day last week. So, um, yeah, I've been super sad, and I didn't really, I don't know. I think it's, um, it's hard when you also have, like, fertility issues, and you decide not to have kids, because you can't um, and then there comes a point where you just decide it's not for you in the cards and so your dogs end up ultimately taking on you know a new a whole new level of meaning in your life because they're the you know they're what you take care of and they're part of your family and um, so anyway I'm gonna try not to cry um, but anyway that's that's what's been going on so we also moved into a new place and I have this new room. I have a whole room just for my inventory and for eBay. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys that. And um, then I'll show you all of the stuff I got today. I got about 80 things today at the thrift store to resell. Um, some to keep for myself, some to send to my nephew. So there's a little bit of everything in the bunch. But I'll take you on a little mini tour here of my room. So it's just a like a basic bedroom here. It's our third bedroom. Um, but this is how I have my um, set up here for my photos. So you can see this is much easier for me to have my mannequin up on this little table. And then my lights shine right onto the mannequin from here. And then all of my shoes now I'm doing on this board that I built. So I'll do a tutorial video on how I did the floor. It didn't cost very much. It was pretty cheap. Everything I got at Home Depot. Obviously, you can also just use a foam board. Some people have suggested that, so it's just white, but I don't know. I like I like when it looks like there's a floor um, underneath. I think it pops the colors a little bit. So anyway, I'm giving that a try, and then I'll show you how I, got, how I did that. And um, I just have a little Ikea table under there, and then these are the lights that I used. Um, somebody asked me, I'm going to have to find them because people have asked me, what light I just upgraded these light bulbs and I don't I can't remember what I put in there but I'll add it to the reseller toolkit um, at the end of the video I'll add the reseller toolkit link to the description of this video and you can click on it and it takes you to all the stuff that I use for my business so you can everything that I use I have shown in on a blog post on my website and you can find everything there um, so then on this side, I have my lights on, so I'm trying not to blind you guys, but, um, I've got on this side, then I have a bookshelf and those are just Ikea bookshelves are the same ones that you've seen, uh, my old place that were behind me. So they are just have all of my, uh, packing and shipping stuff. And then on the other side here, it's the same thing. Um, you can see over here. You can see these are my shipping things also here. Uh, and then 
it's nice because I have all of my inventory right here in the room with me. And that's just so much easier when I go to pull stuff when it sells. So I can just pull it out, put it in whatever shipping bag I'm gonna get it into. And then I, pro I usually take it in my office and weigh it and put it in the, um, the package so I know how much they, they weigh on Poshmark, or I'm sorry, on eBay. We're shipping on Poshmark. Just make sure it's not over five pounds. And then in this room, I also have a closet. So all of like the fan, like I have some fancy dresses and some big coats that definitely won't fit into my little plastic bags I store things in. So this is nice because I have a whole bunch of shoes and boots on the bottom here. And then all of the nice, like the down puffy coats and stuff like that I can fit into there. And the other good thing is that he gets his own office out there. Uh. Ha ha. He's not gonna turn the lights out on me, I don't think. We did an Instagram live video. I did one the other day and he turned the lights on and off because we upgraded our little uh, light switches to those Amazon Echo things. So that, that was a good time. All right, let me fix the light here and then we can do our little haul video. I'll turn on this light too. So if you wanna get rid of the shadows on the wall, you just need to play around with your lights. So if you are playing around with your lights, you want them to be far enough away, you're gonna get shadows if the light is right on top of your mannequin. So that's why it's important to have your lights be bright enough that you can easily um, adjust the uh, the length of the light waves from the mannequin. So if your light is right on your mannequin, it is gonna show shadows in the background. If you have two coming from the sides and they're far enough away, you just play around with it a little bit and that will eliminate the shadows. You can also get, um, I've seen some people do a top video where or top light they shine it down and then they shine on both sides and then they shine it down too so that way um you get all the light in all of the places all right let me back this up a little bit and i'll try to answer your questions as we go but i don't always see them and when i'm doing live on my phone it works better than on my computer um, but it's kind of hard to see everyone's comments, so bear with me. I'll try to I'll try to answer everybody's comments. All right, I got a, eighty things today, and if you want to enter my contest, um, it's only good until the live video duration is over. So if you're watching this after the fact, someone will have already won it. But if you want to go back to Instagram, Boss Lady Resale, and guess how much I spent on all of this stuff today then you could, you are entered into winning a prize for me. But I got 80 things today and I'm just gonna run through them real quick for you guys because I know it's almost dinner time and I'm sure you all have places to go. So well, let's just get started. All right, the first thing I have are some Banana Republic wedges. Um, they're in really good shape and and these are a size, I think I'm gonna have to turn my other light on because it's gonna get dark. This light, this daylight savings is really, really sucks because it affects, I like to do my videos in natural light because it looks better and I think you can see your stuff better. Um, but it is what it is, so we're gonna have to do it now. But nine and a half, these are nine and a half. So Banana Republic wedges. Uh, these are, BCBG generation uh, suede booties with the laser cut out here. And they've got like the distressed toe. The other one is like that too. And they've got it in the back to match the front, but they're, you know, like ankle booties. Like cowboy boots, not ankle booties. They go like mid calf. Um, and they're in really good shape. I try, I have been really trying to buy shoes that are in really good shape because I frankly am sick and tired of cleaning them and it takes too long it's not worth my time I'm kind of kind of over that so these are Dolce Vita ankle booties leather ankle booties 
and they're just black leather ankle booties and they're in really good shape like I said I am really trying to find stuff that you know I don't have to do much to because if you think about you have to factor that into the cost and your profit if you are spending a whole bunch of time cleaning a pair of shoes that you're only gonna make ten dollars on is that really worth your time so I got these angle booties another pair of mid calf boots these are I don't know what brand these are off the top of my head can't really see the bottom I think they're yeah they're Fergie so these are Fergie boots and they're suede so they're suede like motorcycle-ish boots let's see these I couldn't really see the brand on these. I'm going to have to like dig around on them. But they these only ended up being $2. So I thought for $2, they're made in Italy, suede boots. And, you know, sometimes you take a chance on that. Hang on, let me turn on this other light so you guys get better. Oh, the perks of being live. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Now I think you can see me better. Okay. Now we got bar three, another pair of really, really cute ankle booties. And these are a size eight and they're black leather. I'm just going to use my Doc Martin stuff and touch up the toes here. That pretty much should fix them up a little bit just to get them ready to sell. So that'll be good. Then I'll have that because those just need a little bit. So if it just needs like a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But if it needs like a crazy, crazy amount of stuff, I'm not, I'm not spending my time doing that anymore. No more duty shoe cleaning. I love these. These are BCBG generation leather heels and they're in a fantastic condition. I mean, they don't even have a scuff on the toe or on the back actually. But these are a size, I've seen these in there a couple times and I just happened to get them today on half off. They're a size 10. So probably why they're still there, they're really high and they're a size 10. But I just think they're so cute that I thought I would take a chance on them. Okay, are you ready for these? I die for these, I wish they were my size. These are Polka Dot Betsy Johnson platform heels. Black and white. They just remind me of like 101 Dalmatians. They are so stinking cute. They're, they have like a linen, the like it says a linen fabric on top. Um, so these actually still have the DSW tag on them. They were originally $89, $90 at DSW and I paid seven for them. So I thought they were pretty cute. You'll notice a trend when you watch my haul videos that typically I buy things that I like and it makes it a lot more fun and I think that I find better stuff. So these are uh, Donald Pliner boots, suede booties with some uh, animal like snake print on the back. Gray. These are a size eight. They're called Lola. And I paid $2.25 for these. You just can't beat these. I did not know that it was 50% off today. So when I pulled in the parking lot and there were a million people there, I really walked in thinking, oh, I'm not going to get anything today. This is going to be like crap. I'm just not going to be able to get anything today. It's going to be all picked over because I got there in the afternoon. But sure enough, there were lots of stuff left, like these North Face boots. Now these do need just a little bit of cleaning right here, but I think that even with a little bit of the water damage, not damage, water stains on them that I, I can get out the snow, um, that they'll pretty give me a pretty good return because everybody needs snow boots right now. I wish I would have had these to sell the other day because it did snow here in Virginia. Um, all right, I don't always buy just fab or uh, shoe dazzle boots. 
I, if you watched one of my haul videos a while back, I had a pair of thigh high boots that I was going to keep for myself. I always say I'm going to keep them for myself and then I never do, but they were maroon thigh high boots and, um, they, uh, you know, they did sell for a decent amount on eBay. Hey, you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hey. Hey guys. This is my other buddy. This is Louie. Louie's a pug, obviously, but he's not quite a lab, but he'll do the job for now, right? See, I don't like to be held. He's not a big fan of being held, but he likes these shoes, he told me earlier. They are just fab, bow, suede bow heels with a platform. What happened? Huh? I picked him up, so he had a heart attack. So cute, right? With the bow on the side, and then they have a side zip. They're probably about four and a half. But again, they're a size 10, so they won't sell very quickly, but I'm hoping the style will save them and someone will snatch them up. Okay, the last thing in that bag is these. Another pair of boots. Oh, this is a brand ZG, Z-I-G-I. And there's like some kind of Nordic scene on the bottom of them. I didn't have time to research them. I don't know what they are, but they are real suede boots. So one of the things that I will tell you is, and I've said this on videos and in, my, in other videos that I've done for you guys, is to practice like touching fabric. So you know the difference between a synthetic shoe and a suede shoe and a leather shoe because when they have all of those boots hanging there it's a lot easier to um, to be able to just touch stuff than to look through every single boot look in the middle look in the bottom trying to figure out what it is um, I can just I if these aren't quality boots when I look them up I will be shocked because they are I mean the the suede is like butter they're super soft um the name of them is a is cannoli and I mean cannolis are delicious so I'm not sure why someone wouldn't want cannoli named boots I want to keep them just because they're called cannolis but they're a size eight. So if anyone wants to be able to get some boots that are called cannolis, I got them for you. So that's the style name. I, the brand, I've never heard of them. If you've heard of these, let me know. But again, I paid, the, I took the chance and paid $3 for these. I'm sure I can sell these for $3 at a minimum. Hopefully I can double my money and get six. We'll see. All right, one bag of shoes, done. Let's do the second bag. Again, these just fab, man. I really wish these were my size. Look at these. They have sparkles in them. Uh, they're a good style. Basically, all the requirements I have of adding to my shoe collection. But these are called Matilda, and they are seven and a halfs. But, I mean, these are so cute. I don't know if you can. You can't really see them. Maybe you can. The metallic on these. I get it to sparkle a little. But the I love love the cutout here and the just they're not too high. They're about three and a half inches, I'd say. But they're really cute. But they're really cute. That should be my book title, but they're really cute. Alright, these were super cheap. I don't know who Gabriella Rochas is. She's probably a Walmart designer. I don't know. But again, they were two dollars. And they're adorable. Now these are fake. So you can tell these are cheap booties if you buy them. I'll give you a couple clues. First, the stitching on the inside here is not very good. And then second, you can just tell, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but you can tell the difference between these boots and these boots. The quality, like look at the fabric, look at the stitching. The stitching on these is totally even up and down here. Um, you know, these are not, but I just like the style and I have sold, I've sold a couple pair of, what was that brand? Coconuts? I think it was coconuts and they were cowboy boots like this, little ankle cowboy boots and I sold them for $30. So 
you know, you, I, you can't go wrong with cute stuff. Yeah, vegan leather, exactly. So, um, so we'll see about those. But someone asked me if I like to do um, shoes or clothes. And I really prefer, I love selling shoes because I make more money and they're easier to list. So that's, that's my answer and I'm sticking to it. All right, I'm going to move this so I can sit... Here, we're going to do this. All right, the carpet's giving me rug burn. All right, here we go. Cole Haan. Uh, these, again, were so cheap that I got them. Ooh. They're just patent leather heels. And I don't, I, I have actually stopped buying Cole Haan. I don't understand why people um, aren't buying Kohan shoes because they really are great quality shoes. But, I mean, I haven't had much luck selling them lately, so I haven't been buying them lately. But I have found that the ones that do sell are these ones with the Nike Air on the bottom. And these are a size 6B. I sold a blue pair of these, similar, um, for $25. So, you know, if I can turn a, if I can turn a 20 or $25 profit in that, that would be good. Um, all right. So these are Vince Camuto loafers. I need to get a ceiling light in here, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> Will you put a ceiling light in for me? No, it's already there. It is? All right. So these are just some patent leather penny loafer style heels. Um, the name of these is Shiraz. So you can have cannolis and a Shiraz um, on your feet because these are an eight and a half B. So they're mediums. Vince Camuto is a really great brand to resell. Um, I would caution you against feeling the need to buy any kind of list of brands that are hot to sell. Um, and just start doing your own research because truthfully there are brands that I see other people are like, oh, this sells so well for me. And then I buy something and it just sits there. Um, and I don't have any luck selling it. So I can't even imagine how upset I would be if I bought a list of brands and then I went out and bought all those brands and they never sold for me. Cause that would be a bummer. So these are Studio Paola. Uh, this is, I think, I'm pretty sure this is a brand they have at Nordstrom. But again, these are really well-made shoes. They're nice leather shoes. And they're a size... Ooh, there we go. A size nine. They're, they're called Jalisa. So you got some Jalisas here. Oh my God, I have so many shoes. Um, another pair of Cole Hans. Again, Nike Air on the bottom. And they're brown leather and good size. So they're like a size eight or eight and a half, I think. Eight and a half, yeah. So brown leather shoes for the office. I love these. These are, I don't typically pick up Nine West, but these are like brand new. And they're really great maroon color, similar style. These are a good style for the winter for people who work in offices because they give a little bit of height, but they have a platform so they're more comfortable than other shoes. A tip for you is when you're listing shoes that you know these fun facts about, put them in your descriptions and that way people will be like, oh, that's great to know, you know, to look for, looking for comfortable work shoes, you know, make sure they have um, platform in the bottom or whatever. If you know something about the function of the shoe or the Nike Air or the soles or any of that stuff, make sure you're putting that in the description because some people really like that. Now, I don't know if you guys go to Unique or Savers or whatever the other one is. They have a couple brands, but um, people just leave stuff at the registers like before. You know, they're set up like grocery store aisles and then you walk in. So today when it was 50% off, everyone just dumps whatever they don't want. They go around, they grab all their stuff and then they just dump it. So 
These caught my eye. They were a dumped item. And sure enough, they are Jeffrey Campbell boots. Leather boots. They're size 9. And um, I, they are called Boxy. So these are Jeffrey Campbell boots with a nice chunky heel. Good quality, great quality actually. One of the things that I try to do when I shop is I always have like a dollar amount. I have a, I have a budget number and then I have a, um, Aaron, will you call that when you have, oh, a stretch goal? Like I have a stretch budget. So I have, okay, my goal is to try to spend $150 but if I spend $250, that's okay. My goal is to then stay within that range. Um, but I also have a goal about like, I always want one to five items of the whole purchase to cover the entire transaction. So in my mind, I'm always trying to find a couple of high ticket items that will cover the whole transaction purchase and then anything else at that, um, anything else at the um, after that is profit. So if you think if you think about it, if you spend a hundred dollars, I try to find you know some items that I know will sell for thirty, forty, fifty dollars, and that way that covers the cost of those goods and that purchase, and then the rest of it is is profit. And that really actually works for me because it makes me focus on finding a couple of those higher dollar, higher ticket items that will cover the cost of all the items. So I've talked about men's shoes before and I think it's it's never a bad reminder to talk about men's shoes. But if you, again, knowing the quality of the shoes. So these shoes, they don't really look like much, but I love Oxfords for men so and they do sell pretty well. So I picked these up and you can't really see in here uh, the name of the shoe. So I looked around in here and I recognized the um, the way that it's stamped in here. And then if you look at the bottom and you guys, this is all just sheer experience of doing this for you know 16 years now. But if you look at the bottom and this is how crazy this is, I can pick up the logo of this just by one, the beginning of the word and the the font that it is. So, hey buddy, hi. So you can just see the the on here. And if you look closer in the shoe, now that I know that, these are actually Fry Boots and it says the Fry Boot Company. It's the from the Fry Boot. So these are leather men's Fry Boots and they're a size 11, so I'll have to look them up and see like what the style is. But I'll definitely polish these up with my Doc Martin leather stuff because these were $5.49 and then they were half off of that. So I paid $2.25 for a pair of men's fry boots or fry, fry dress shoes. The, these will be ones that make up a significant chunk of my purchase today that will, you know, cover a lot of this transaction. The other thing that I will recommend to you is to learn cowboy boots. Cowboy boots have a very high profit margin if you know what you're looking for. Fry boots, um, Tony Llamas, um, I, I, they're escaping me now, but you just got to know that these, again, feel them, know the leather. You can actually, it's gross, but you can smell that these are really good leather. They're usually stamped on the inside. So I'm gonna have to look these up because I'm pretty sure they're um, Acme boots, but I just, it says that in there, but I wanna do some research on them. I do spend a little bit of time on boots like this for that reason. So I know exactly what they are. I know what they're sold, selling for, what their retail price is, and it will give me an idea of what to list them for. So doing a little bit of due diligence when it comes to this kind of stuff is worth it in the long run because these, every single pair of cowboy boots has paid off with for at least a $30 or more profit for, for me. So um, if you cannot, I mean, I guess you can go wrong, but if you're buying really great cowboy boots, because cowboy boots are really expensive. So, you know, some of them can be $1,000 depending on what, you know, in the Western world, 
there's a whole world out there of people who buy these pre-owned because they're so expensive. Uh, so again, these were $13 and I paid half of that. And I'm hoping to sell them for at least 50 bucks. That'll be it. So we'll, I gotta look them up though. Um, these are, I think Sam Edelman. I think, I think these are Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman uh, knee-high boots with the, um, you know, the, the toes distressed like that. I, I will polish these up a little bit. So the stuff that goes for the higher dollar amounts, I will, you know, just freshen those up to make them look good. These are just some Dolce Vita cute little uh, espadrilles. Nothing fancy. But Dolce Vita, those shoes are really cute and comfortable as well. All right, last few shoes. These were just BCBG shoes, $3. And I think these are my size. I love shoes like this that have a little bit of a wedge, a little bit of height to them um, because I'm short, in case you haven't noticed. And um, I think these are a size six and a half. So these might be going to my personal closet. But I'm trying to do one in, one out. So I don't keep adding shoes to that. But that isn't working so well. Michael Michael Kors, black heels. These are also my size in a six and a half. Just plain black leather heels. And if you can get stuff for a low enough price that is Michael Kors and that kind of stuff, then I typically do try to pick them up. All right, I don't remember if I talked about this in a YouTube video or on Instagram, but um, a lot of people think that when you go to the thrift stores, the purses that they, they always find the great purses and they put them behind the counter. That's actually not the case. And I have a purse that I just sold. It's a authentic coach legacy bag. Again, I know what they are from years of experience that I picked right out of the little you know, with all the bags hanging there. And I think I paid $4 for it and I just sold it for $50 on eBay. So there's definitely money to be made in those bags if you know what you're looking for. Now this bag, I just, I really like this purse personally. And it's a little tote that I would use. It's a Ralph Lauren bag. It's an excellent, it's, a, it's an excellent shape. And um, for $5, I figured, why not? Um, the only thing, that I'm noticing now, which this is why I tell you to check out the stuff. The body of the bag is in excellent condition, but the handles are actually ripping. So I'll be returning this, but I didn't even notice this when I was checking them out. So make sure like the, I'm so usually worried about the bottom of the bag and the interior of the bag that I completely missed this. So this is going to be going back, but there's definitely that. So the good thing is you can exchange stuff. I'll probably buy more stuff anyway. This is about the size of the coach bag that I was just telling you about. And this is a BCBG leather like clutch bag with a cute little handle. It'll fit an iPhone and keys in a wallet. If you have small bags, make sure you are listing them with the dimensions. So people know like I have an iPhone plus, so I have the bigger one. And that way uh, people know, you know, that their stuff is going to fit in there because that's the last thing you want is to get a clutch to go out that night and then you realize your stuff doesn't fit in it. So this, this bag is like, we'll call it vegan leather, but it was just so cute. Sometimes just, sometimes stuff just calls my name and I'm like, okay, I'll take you home. And sometimes I win and sometimes I lose, but I just thought this was adorable, this bag. I've never heard of this brand. It's called... Vita, V-I-E-T-A, but I mean, who doesn't need a bow with a, a purse with a giant pink bow in it? It really reminds me of Betsy Johnson style bag, but it's a, it's a, actually a really cute color. So we'll see. I don't know. I'll give it to my sister if it doesn't sell. Hopefully she's not watching this. I'll give it to her for Christmas. All right. So those are my bags. And all right, next up, jeans. Tis the season for jeans, guys. Jeans, jeans, jeans. All right, I'm not gonna stand up and do the whole thing on these. I'm just gonna do real quick. 
So again, seven for all mankind. If they're dojos, they're worth money. If they're not, but they're a newer style, you can also make some money. So the standard kind of boot cut jeans, um, you know, that are in a good size. I'm finding that the small, the smaller sizes used to sell really well for me, but I'm finding that they, they don't. So these are just a boot cut, boot cut size 28. And I do wash jeans before I sell them. I just have a thing about it. I don't know. I just do. These, I've never heard of this brand, but the label looked nice and they're really well made. Plus, they're they're made in the United States. It's I think it's called Rancan or Can Can or another brand that I'm going to have to look up. Something LA, but I don't know if you can see that logo there but they're really well made jeans so I assumed they were something if they're not oh well but they're skinny jeans and they have a little bit of a stretch to them so sometimes I do take chances on stuff but I'm finding that I do it a lot less now than I used to so before when I was building up my inventory I made a lot more mistakes on kind of what I was buying and what I should be buying but I really am trying now to be better about just getting a couple things. So you know how I said I try to get a couple things that cover the whole purchase. I also get a couple things to just play around with through trial and error. Uh, these are Citizens for Humanity jeans. A good size. The boot cut style. I like the color. Ugh, I really need to lose like 20 pounds so I can fit in all these damn jeans I keep buying. Okay, the, I, I don't typically look in plus, plus size clothes. And the reason I don't is because that's not really my area of expertise. And so I typically like to put like sizes in my closet so people can make bundles or you know make multiple purchases. Because if you have a whole bunch of different sizes, you know people coming looking for one thing and they don't like that thing, aren't gonna buy something else if you don't have other things in their size. So I really try to make sure that I, you know, if I have smaller sizes, I have a bunch of smaller things, and then a bunch of medium sizes and large sizes and that that kind of stuff. But these were really unique. I thought they were cute, and I'm, again, I'm taking a chance on them. They are Chico's Design. I don't know what that is. They're a size three, which I think is a 16. Um, but I love the bottom of these. They're actually very well made. The embroidery is beautiful on them, and there's beading. Um, there's just a, there's a couple beads missing that I did notice in the thrift store, but I just thought that you know they were pretty a unique style, so I thought I'd give them a try. Um, but because Chico's really isn't cheap. The other thing about these is they have like a stretch waistband, which who doesn't want a stretch waistband on their jeans? Um, my hormones are so messed up right now that I'm seriously considering like going and buying maternity jeans because I'm just, my body's just all out of whack again. Um, another reason that I looked through plus size jeans today, I don't know about you, but I get these weird intuitions like that something is in that area and typically I'm right. So today I'm like, you know what, I'm going to look through these today. And sure enough, I found these really great Miss Me jeans that are size 32, um, they're destroyed and distressed. Uh, they're really cute. I think they're angel wings on a cross. I won't wear them. I wear blinged out clothes, but that just seems like it would hurt your butt to have those on there. Um, all right, cut from the cloth, size 16W. And like the other reason that I wash these like right now is one, something in this bag smells like perfume. And since I have chronic migraines, I try to keep all of those weird, crazy scents out of my house. Uh, I do often tell people, they'll ask me if, you know, my clothes have a smell to them or something. And I am very sensitive to smells. Right? Aaron? Very what? Strongly? Strongly and precisely. I'm a strong person. Well, I always have an opinion about everything. No comment. I feel
feel like you should come in here. All right, cut from the cloth, Farrah baby boot cut jeans, size 12. And let's see, DL 1961. These are Joy Super High Rise Flare, size 31. I wish these were to flare because I would keep them, but flares do not look good on me. I just, I've never really gotten into flare jeans, but I really like the, the 1961 jeans. These are Madewell. I gotta look these up and figure out what they are. If you don't know this already, Madewell and J. Crew have the style numbers. I'm trying to find it for you. Watch this one, won't have it. Of course it doesn't. But they should, I could, I'm not going to find it in here, but made, they should have the style tag in there of what the style number is. So these are kind of a, um, like a pleated front pant. They, they're, they're denim, but they're a little bit uh, like linen-like. Uh, and they're crops. And these are a size 31, I think. You know, I usually say you can't go wrong with Madewell, but I do have some Madewell things that haven't sold. They're just sitting in my closet. I got these for myself, polka dot pants. Mm, thought they were cute. I will wash those before I wear them. And I don't normally buy, again, I don't normally buy Lucky brand unless I can get them for a dollar, but I like the pockets on these. It's all about the pockets. Uh, these are a size 12 and the light wash. All right, one more pair of jeans. These are Spanx. Um, these are like my favorite jeans of all time. I have two pairs of these. I wish these were, if these were one size smaller, I'd be keeping them. But they're Spanx jeans and they really suck you in. Oh, I have one more pair and one more pair of cut jeans. So those are the jeans that I got. Uh, I did get a pair of Beyond Yoga leggings, black and white. Beyond Yoga leggings are very expensive. They're sold at Nordstrom. We used to sell them at the yoga studio I managed. And this really pretty skirt that's like a mini and a maxi. It's got one of those like this kind. I don't know what you call that, but it's got like the short skirt and the long skirt. Okay, next bag. I did buy a lot of stuff today. Did you go over to Instagram yet and guess? You've seen some of my prices now, so you might have a leg up if you can go over there and ooh, see what I, what I paid. Okay, so uh, Banana Republic Fine Italian Yarn Cardigan. So soft. An, I really try to pick up, again, just like I am trying to avoid shoes that I have to do a lot of work with, I'm trying to avoid sweaters that I have to do a lot of work with. So I don't want to have to reshape them or shape them or do anything unless they're going to get me a lot of money. This is an Amarni Exchange little cowl neck jacket. I don't know if you can really see that. This is a Free People cardigan. I like, I actually really like that. That's one of the first Free People things that I've picked up and I've really liked. This is another sweater that I took a chance on. It's called Per Una. I don't know, the sounds like a fish. But it's like a knit. I just imagine some lady wearing this. It's got the same thing on the arms here. Cabbie is a brand that I love and I hate. There are cabbie things I've sold that I've had a great profit from. And there are cabbie things I have that are sitting in my closet for months and months. This, I liked the color on this. It's really vibrant. It's a cute little sweater, little cardigan. It doesn't have a lot of pilling on it, so I did pick that up. I actually got a lot of J. Crew sweaters today. This really pretty, flirty cardigan. 
This one's um, cashmere blend, cashmere and wool. This one is, I think, cashmere angora maybe. Yeah, oh, alpaca. this one's alpaca and wool. So really, it's got a really like pearl bow on it there. Oh, here, I can show you on one of these. So if you don't know, on J. Crew, on the tag here, it'll tell you the style number and it will tell you the year it was made. So this is style number 33966 and it's from 2010. You gotta love it. Um, oh, this is an Isabel Morant, very expensive designer. Cardigan. You can't really tell, but it's actually like a pink, like a salmon pink color. And another J. Crew crew neck. Um, this one's Angora rabbit hair sweater, like a cable knit. You gotta watch these. Uh, there are so many that I end up picking up and putting back because they have stains on them or mothball or moth holes in them. They smell like mothballs. They're shrunken. You really have to watch wool sweaters that they're not shrunk. Shrunken. All right. I got two more bags. I just knocked that over. Oh, a ton of skirts. I did buy skirts. I love selling J. Crew skirts. People love them. They buy them. And they're so easy to measure and list. This is another cabbie. This is a cabbie leather skirt. Knee length. And I had one. This is a size 2. But I had one that was a White House Black Market. It was brown. It was a super pretty camel color. And... Um, this, this one also just feels like butter. I love when they feel like that. The Super 120s are really great J. Crew. So this is a J. Crew pencil skirt. And this is a Nanette Lepore skirt with a really pretty pleating on the back here. Like a mermaid, it's almost like a little mermaid style. Ooh, I love when they have price tags on them, the original price tags when you get them home. So this is another J. Crew pencil skirt. It's a salmon color, like a darker color. Another same style. Some of the same person probably donated these. This Ann Taylor skirt is so adorable with the roses on them. They're like cream and peach. J. Crew pencil skirt, polka dot. Oh, I'll have to fix that hem. The hem fell out of that, but that is worth fixing. J. Crew pencil skirt. If you need a J. Crew pencil skirt, I guess I got them. A Brooks Brothers pleated, like schoolgirl skirt. Plaid is in for the fall and the winter. This is a Herman Geist plaid, black and red and gray. Let's see. This is another cabbie skirt. Oops. The other thing that I like about this room is, um, I know Louis was in here earlier, but I haven't, that's like the first time I've let him in this room. So this room is going to be a totally dog free room, which will eliminate a lot of the time that I ultimately end up spending using this and making sure everything is immaculate condition. Um, oh, this is a, fr so I did, I don't know how I, okay. <laughs> I also did not know that I bought this. So this is a forever 21 skirt but it's plaid high waisted high waist and it comes probably down to mid mid calf 
But plaid is in. I forgot that we put that in my cart. And lastly, this is an anthropology skirt. I think it's Sparrow. I gotta look. I gotta look up the uh, tag. But it's a great New Year's Eve skirt. This like metallic black. And actually, if you look real close, it's like a cheetah print, like an animal print. Okay, last bag. Who's ready for the last bag? You guys still watching? Or have I bored you to death? Oh, it's just nice to like talk to someone. Are all of you guys, all 50 of you that are watching right now. Um, I buy my nephew lots of clothes at thrift stores. And I just thought this was... All right, I'm not going to show this one until after Christmas. Because I don't want them to see it. But... So, I, I did get these two, where'd they go? Okay, I got my nephew Carter's little cords, green cords, and, um, oh, this jacket, this is a Ralph Lauren jacket, it's so cute. This little Ralph Lauren jacket. That kid is gonna have more coats than I find thrifting. Um, these are brand new, I, there's two of them, Nautica little kid sweatshirts. So we got one and two. They still have the original Nautica price tag on them. Little hood. And Ralph Lauren shirt. He's very stylish. So we got to make sure we, we keep him in style. And this Mickey Mouse shirt. REI ski pants, snow pants. These might, those might have to wait till next year, but they were only a dollar. So I can afford it. All right, that's all the kids stuff. And then I have just a couple more sweaters that got thrown into that bag. So I actually, I got this for myself. It's a Kate Hill um, cardigan. It's really thick cotton. I'm gonna send it to the dry cleaner. But it's just a little cardigan sweater to throw around. This, um, this is a classique interior, but it, it's, Classics. I don't usually pick up this brand, but the ruffles around the neck, it's really pretty. And usually when it says Atelier or Collection or something like that on the label, it was like a higher end or a, like a better quality, what better design that they have said that, you know, that they put on the label to let you know that it's like an elevated um, quality. This is a Zara Basic little blazer, like a t-shirt blazer, cardigan, sorry, cardigan, I mean, and it's got like the old man cardigan buttons here. And lastly, the very last thing I got today is also a J. Crew collection. Um, and this is, I think, alpaca, cashmere, cashmere sweater with some metallic in it and one of those elbow patches on the side. And that might actually stay, this might stay in my collection. It's gonna go from the J. Crew collection to the Rebecca Black collection. Um, so that's it. I, um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I, this is my first video in a couple weeks since we moved. Um, don't forget, I have my reseller toolkit. It's gonna be in the description here. Go over to Instagram. If you're watching this live, go over to Instagram and um, vote or put your, you know, how much you think that I spent on all of this stuff today. I got 80 items. Thanks so much. Seriously, I appreciate all of you taking the time to watch with me and hang out with me. Hopefully I answered your questions and gave you lots of tips today. I will see you next time. And tomorrow I have four videos that I'm filming. So don't forget to subscribe and hit like on this video. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.